Um, hi again, we're back at this fence job. We've actually been here for a whole day since um, I did the part one. Um, it's all icy on the, well, it's quite frosty on the ground today. But um, we did quite well the other day. It's been a bit of a pain, I'll tell you for what reason. It's my own fault, really. Um, we did them five down to there. Then the panels changed, like I said. Then it had, it had to sort of kink around there. You can see it there, so the kink around there. Uh, we're on to final straight now down there. Probably was two and a bit panels to go. And we've gone level now because um, it can do. Um, so yeah, um, a few little things, a couple of little tips, what I always do. And it's just cosmetically. If you're walking down the garden, whatever side you see as you're walking down the garden, these concrete posts have a smoother side and a rougher side. See there? It's like much more of a right angle and that's like smooth. The edge is smoothed off there. And I always have it so that side is towards as you're walking down. On the first one we started off the other way because it's sort of not so nice but it's behind so we could do it there. And then so on we just turn around so on all the way down. So it's just a little tip. It just looks a bit nicer as you're walking down the garden. And that's where everybody's going to be looking down the garden rather than up I would think. Um, another thing as well, stick with the sort of panels and the supplier you always use. Um, the person we're doing the job for wanted us to use these panels. And as you can see, they've got, well for a start they're too long. I've had to cut about uh, six inches off the bottom and then move that bar up, which is good in one way because these haven't got the side frame. But the other thing is I like the side frame because I can drill through like I showed you in um, part one. So we haven't been able to do that with these. So these may rattle a bit. Not really much I can do about that. It's just, um, you know, what we're working with. But it's a pain having to cut the bottoms of each one. I had to do, I think we did one, two, three, four, five. We did six the other day. So I had to cut the bottom off of six of them. And not that it's a massively hard job. It's just to pull nails out, then move it up, cut it off. It's just a lot of messing about you don't want to really have to do. It's the panels that have been the proper size panels. Like the first ones were, it'd be nice and easy. We'd have actually got another one. Well, we had one more panel here. We would have got that one in easy on that day. But, um, you know, just land up taking longer. So, yeah, think about yourself. And, you know, he would have been okay if I just said, oh, I can't mess around with that. I'll just get the panels. But me being me, trying to sort of save people money, which has made my life harder. But anyway, we're nearly there now. You learn. I've done plenty of them. And I, well, I say you learn. I don't know whether I ever do. But anyway. Um, I have learned this time because this top bit up here is just going to have um, concrete uh, concrete posts with the face where you put the nut and bolt for. I'll show you that when we do it. And it's going to have there, and it's just going to be feather edged with a wooden gravel board along there. So that's next week's job. I'll come back here next week. I still haven't been to the fence yard. That's the problem. I can't do it. I need to go there because I need a different post. So to do that, I'm going to make it easier for myself than just now. Um, the um the boards onto the the frame so um yeah it's all they're quite kink there really but another thing as well is we had the person from next door coming around on about boundaries some um he doesn't actually own the house so um he was on about maybe buying it in years to come he'll move the fence or whatever doesn't bother me then because he'll be um will be paid and gone but um yeah just you know in a way these gardens will be messed up a little bit over the years and I'm not really sure where the line should even be but always sort of double check with the person so you don't get moody neighbours coming around the plate was okay really about it um, and he's got a tip the other side anyway but uh, you know I like to come try and make a point so he seemed to think that post was the post that old post in there was supposed to go straight down the problem was going straight down it would have took us through, through that tree and all into the other garden so um yeah he said well well you do, since you've done it you know just you have to carry on so fair enough like i said once it's done and i'm paid i'm not really really worried if someone else want to move it they can i'm not um but i think that will be i think that will be a, it'll be left won't it you know who's going to really mess around with a fence like this he doesn't even own the place so he's not really gonna he rent so he's not really gonna make too much of a fuss i wouldn't have thought i'd just be happy to have a nice fence up one side because they're just horrible fences around here but anyway um laura's just made a start i better make a start on this panel and get that um cut short and um yeah we'll move on and get this these two in hope to be done by midday it's about um 
probably about 20 past nine, half past nine, hope we're done by about midday. So if I get cracking, I can probably be done. Um, we are going level now, like I said, so that makes it easier. And I know the measurement of the panel as well, because everything's going level, so it just takes me about 10 minutes to do it. It just seems so much messing about um, and lay on the floor and that, but yeah, I've only got to take a bit off. So yeah, I'll show you it when we've done the stretch. Um, so this whole um, process of doing them last couple of panels did take longer than I thought but we've had clearing up took quite a while as well and the end one was hard to get in because it just had no space between the end there and there we managed to do it a bit messing about and we had to cut that gravel ball down a bit because we weren't lucky enough to be exactly right and we had to cut the panel down like I said, I was bit, had been cutting the bottoms off, they had cut it off the side, that wasn't too bad. So yeah, um, that stretch is done now, but I've still got to do the top bit and there's an, another added bit to brace now. So um, we've still got a couple of pounds we didn't use, or over too many. And there's some old stuff there, still got to go. And there, and there, and we've probably took half of it. So there's loads of, loads of mess, but we'll come back and get that next week. Um, so yeah, from there now, Right the way down to the bottom, the whole stretch is done. A couple of kinks in it with the way the old fence went. So, you know, um, if there's any issues in the future, that's between um, the customer and whoever. And we just put it where we were asked to. So, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Um, but, yeah, I think it looks pretty smart now. So, um, yeah, we've just got to um, pack the last few things up, then we'll be off. Um, I've, I've um, cut some of the wood up already, so it's sort of, because my dad takes in, he can use it in his wood burner, so that's ideal. But yeah, I think that looks, I think that's pretty smart down there now. And then, yeah, next week we'll be on this and there's an area down there to do, which should be straightforward enough because it's just going to be wooden posts down there. Probably, I think he said do what we think is best really. So I'll go four foot. Um, or I don't know if they do 3.5, if they do 3.5 um, beverage boards, I'll go 3.5, um, well, three and a half foot, and then the gravel board on the bottom. And we'll just do that beverage with, um, yeah, with a wooden gravel board down there, just to, to there. So it gets a little stretch, but I quite enjoy them ones, not too bad at all. Um, also, if you do get any issues where the posts were previous or anything, you can slightly move them to the side when you're doing beverage. You can't with panels because a fixed fixed distance so well, unless you have to do what I did down the bottom and keep cutting them but you no know, no one's gonna do that um, so yeah um, we'll be off now and then yeah back here again at some point next week and get that top bit done and then yeah probably back do the other bit we'll just show you so yeah hope you enjoyed this video um, I'll maybe a part three there might not be so and um, we'll see how it goes but thanks for watching I'll be along with another video again soon.